Welcome to howtocookthat.net, I'm Anne Redden and today we're going to make chocolate dipped honeycomb. For this recipe I like to use a wide based saucepan because it works best in that. Add your sugar, glucose syrup and your water into the pan. For all the recipe quantities you can go to the website howtocookthat.net. Now before you heat that up you need to make sure that you have everything else ready to go. You need to have a heat proof bowl and line that with non-stick baking paper. You also need a pastry brush in a cup of water, a whisk and oven mitt to help you hold the pan when you need to tip it out and one teaspoon of bicarb of soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder and sift them into a bowl. Now you're ready to make your honeycomb. Put your pan over a high heat and stir it until the sugar's dissolved. You can lift up a spoonful of it and look at it and see if there's still grains there or not. Once it's completely dissolved, then take your pastry brush and wash down the sides of the pan. You need to do that so that any sugar granules on the side don't cause the honeycomb to crystallise and also so that they don't burn on the edges. Once you've done that, you just need to wait. Just leave it and watch it and it will start to bubble. It'll start to thicken a little and the bubbles will get louder. At that point, it's nearly ready to go and you'll just see one part of it start to go golden. At that point, immediately get your whisk, just give it two stirs to evenly distribute the heat, sprinkle over your bicarb of soda and your baking powder, three stirs with your whisk, you don't want to overmix it because you don't want to flatten all those bubbles, and straight away pour it into your heatproof bowl, and then comes the hard part, you have to leave it about three hours to cool. And don't touch it because it's extremely hot and you'll burn your fingers. To wash your saucepan, just fill it up with water and leave it for about half an hour. All the honeycomb will have dissolved off the bottom of the pan. Once your honeycomb cools, it will sink down in the middle, that's fine. Then peel off any baking paper off the outside, turn it upside down and place it on a tray and then just smash it into chunks about the size that you want them to be. Take each chunk, dip it in some tempered chocolate and then place it on a tray to set. Once the chocolate's dried, then you can put it into an airtight container to store. If you like baking, make sure you give the thumbs up and subscribe to How To Cook That. There's a new video every week.